Good morning, everybody. Saturday, June 6th. Uh, I almost thought it was my brother's birthday. It's not, not for two more days. He's June 8th. June 6th. I'm not really sure. I have to figure that out. Um, I'd be a real jerk if I got that wrong. It's June 8th. Ah, anyway. So, good morning. Welcome. Uh, hopefully, everyone's here. And I'm wondering if you guys remembered, because I did, paper plates. If you didn't remember paper plates and you have a couple, go grab them. We're going to work with them. We're going to show you just some, some new things to do, some fun things to do that we can do without having to buy more equipment. Because I don't know if you've tried to buy any fitness equipment lately. That's Allie. Um, it's almost impossible to find, and if you can find it, you're going to be paying, paying, pre ah, paying premium prices. So you want to make sure that, you know, we use what we have. And I know we've seen Ellen's using laundry detergent jugs. Um, if you have them and they're empty, I've said this before, you can take the empty jugs, weigh yourself first, then weigh them and add water to them so that you can, and then weigh yourself with the jugs so you can kind of figure out how much they are so you can make different pound weights with whatever water jugs you have. Um, and just mark it, even if you have like the milk gallon jugs, mark the pound, pounds on the jug so that you can change when we're working. Um, if you have free weights, that's great. I've had the same weights for a while. As you can see, they're old and, and janky, just like my friend Allie here. Um, but let's start out with our pulse. If you can find it in your wrist or your neck, it's a great start. I've been working on trying some of the privacy. I've had some of the people that um, were able to see me before, couldn't see me until after I posted it and made it public. So I've tried to make my whole profile public, which normally... In the regular world, my profile is not public, but I want to make sure I'm reaching as many of our members as possible. And anybody who wants to join us to work out, I just want to reach as many people as possible. So let's find our pulse in our wrist or our neck, and you can start counting. Start counting now. And stop. So that's the number, that's where we want to get down to after we've rested, we've relaxed, and we're ready to start our day. It looks like it's beautiful outside. My husband said it's supposed to rain, but I was just outside and there's not a cloud in the sky. I know it's Buffalo, that doesn't mean anything. If you don't like the weather, wait a minute, right? Allie may join us and she may be in our way. So if I stop doing stuff, that doesn't mean you get to stop doing it. Let's get some music. I downloaded some new music this morning, but I didn't listen to it first, so you know we could be surprised. So you guys start marching. I might need my glasses to see this. Start marching. Almost there, almost there. Here we go. She may attack the speaker, <laughs> so I might have to move it in a second. Step touch. Double step. Grapevine. So if I haven't told you Allie's story, is a rescue. She's got some quirks with her knees. So she would not be good in a home with small children. She's fine here. My smallest child is over six foot tall. Around the world arms. I'm the smallest person in this house. Step touch. But she likes to attack weird things. He's up front. She's trying to get on that chair. This could be funny. Hamstring, reach and pull. Knees up front. Hamstring. Two knees. Two hams, 
two knees, two hands, two knees, two hands, two knees, two hands, center squat, down and up. Four more. So she was found in a drug house. Reach for the floor, right hand, left hand. And they don't know what her job was. So she likes to attack running cars. So it's fun to try and walk her. Add an overhead extension. Floor, ceiling. If you're in your basement, you can touch the floor and the ceiling. Pulse it down, maybe you can't. Widen that base. Fanny back, knees behind the toes. Chin up, lunge it, take it side to side. Add a reach across the chest. Overhead, reach. Out in front, reach. By your toes, reach. In front. Overhead. Out in front. By your toes, we're going to cut it in half. In front, two. Up high. In front. Down low. In front. Up high. In front. Down low. Again, in front. Up high. In front. Down low, wide squat, right here, wide squat. Pulse it down, little pulse. Hands on your quads, stay here. Round your back, release it down. Round your back, release it down. Round your back, roll it up, bring the feet together, shoulders back. Elbows back, arms back. Great big deep breath. Exhale, release it. Start cardioing. Get water if you need water. Otherwise, start to march. When you're ready, level one is a march, level two is a jog, level three is a run. Let's go. Leave those alone. No, no, that's not for you. That's not for you. Go find a toy. We'll find it so no, leave it alone. You guys keep going. <laughs> go find a toy. We're gonna go to jumping jack. Level one, level two, level three is just faster. <laughs> Come on. Lucas, throw me down a toy. Keep an eye on her. See, I don't know why she wants to jump up on me. But I know I don't want to get her all riled up. Okay, jump rope. Level one. Level two. Level three. So we know one, two. You guys keep doing it. Take it. Side to side. Level one pivots on the foot. There we go. Level two, she got her own toy. Level three is just faster. Side to side. Level one pivots. Come on, now. Five more seconds. You know you can be going faster. Pick one side. Level one. Level two, a little higher. Level three, ceiling, pull it down. Woo! 
Level one, down here. Level two, a little higher. Level three, pull it down. Bring it over to the other side, level one. Right here. Level two, being a little more. Reach a little higher. Level three, down here. Reach your full feeling. Woo. Ten more seconds. We're gonna go to over the top. Ready, set, over the top. Level one pivots. Level two gets a little hop. Level three is just faster. Level one. Drop that knee. I was going to throw the toy. I'm going to put my hand in there. Ready? Shuffle. 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 Shuffle or shuffle. Touch the ground. Side to side. Couple more. We're going to do those four points of contact. So you're going to take it forward, side, shuffle back, side, level two. Forward, touch the floor, touch the floor. Come on. Or, if you don't want to be licked by a dog, you're going to come up front, heel toe level one. Kick, lunge, love you, have a good day. Whew. I have a feeling this is going to be a song that we might have to... I'm going to skip this. Last time with the kiss song, it got censored. Take it to the other side. So if the YouTube video is missing that little section, you'll know why. Well, we know level three lunge or kick, 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 kick. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. Woo! Okay, we're all forward. Marching or jogging. Marching or jogging. Lost track, that song threw me off. And then I remember. We're going to go to fast feet. Righty side, go. Take it up right here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back it up. March your job. Bring that heart rate down a little bit. Recover. Ready, set, go. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back it up. We got one more. Woo, get that breathing under control. Ready, set, go. Last time right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. March. Woo. So let's recover. Step touch. The elephant no longer has an ear. Say she is the destroyer of toys. Album. It's okay, the elephant had seen better days. So we'll let her play with it. She's happy right now. March, March. We haven't thrown our punches in a while. So we're going to take it wide. So, real wide. How about we just do a little tap? Tap. Make the arms bigger. Add a 
little bend in the middle. Now sit down and jab. Jab. So, little twist. Fanny's back behind the knees. And you're throwing a punch. I want you to feel you're not just you're throwing a punch. See that target in front of you. Focus, strength, power. Ready, uppercut. Pop. So really swinging. I want you to feel that middle of the back. Round boards in last. And down. Now we're going to hook it. So when you hook it, you're going to bring it around and you're going to throw that hip into it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up front, jab. Sitting back. Uppercut. Take it side to side. In four, three, two, that's that jam. Feel like I forgot something there? Eh. Now we'll uppercut. Pop. Pop that. We'll stay here for a while. Eight. down, four, three, two, one, hook it side to side, hook, 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 four, three, two, one, come center, great big deep breath, Woo. deep breath, get some water, Keep your feet moving. You see this? And that carnage. Yeah. So if you're lucky enough to actually have gliding discs, so let's make sure that we talk about this because on the, it works on the carpet. If you have gliding discs, if you have plastic ones like I have, I bought these because I'm usually working out on carpeted floors. Not for that. So, these are great. I don't know how easy they are to come by. Paper plates work. If Allie doesn't try and attack them. Just leave a feet. Get your elephant. So, you have the paper plate. Put it under your foot. So just know that everything we do on the paper plate, you can... Allie, yeah, we're down to one. I'm going to put her upstairs. Come on, Allie. Come on. You want this? Come on. Okay, she's fine to destroy toys, but not when we're working out. She can't destroy them. So I'm going to probably use one disc after or use the disc after but you can use the paper plate so just put it underneath your foot and i want you to just kind of move it around on the rug if you have a if you're on a hardwood floor paper plates are going to work fine or just your towel so you can have a small towel or a washcloth i'm going to come over here because the floor is here and you can move a towel around on the floor pretty easily so you're going to get the same effect paper plate or towel so what we're going to do you're going to balance. If you want to have your chair, have your chair for balance, just give me little circles with that plate. Little circles. So, we're going to talk about how this is going to work because I don't want this. So let's just do this to start. In and out. Right here. So this is where you'll come back to 
This is double double speed right here. You're not gonna stay here. You're gonna go out, in, out, in. So we see the difference. Out, in. Now we're gonna take it to a squat. It looks like this. So it's out, drag it in. Out, drag it in. Out and in. So again, you can be here. Two more. Now you're gonna stand up straight. I want you to just press the leg back. Press it back. So you're just sliding that plate back. So just sliding it back is working the core your standing leg is working. So we're gonna take it to your here now right here. You're going to take it to a lunge. If you have neuropathy, you can stay here. No pressure on the foot. Otherwise, it's down, pull that plate in. Down, pull the plate in. Four more. Two more. Now you're going to stand up straight. Just cross that leg behind you. Cross it behind you. The standing leg is straight. This is where we come back to if we need a break, but not where we want to be. Now make it a real curtsy. So it's down, up. So again, chair for balance. Otherwise, you can touch the floor and fall over. Woo, you ready? To the side. So sit down, pull it in. Use those elbows to touch the tops of the legs. Make sure you have proper form. Four, three, two, take it back. Straight back, drop that knee down and pull that plate in. And four, three, two, curtsy, here we go, curtsy. Four more, I keep using the chair because it's there. You want to try to not use it, but it'll help you with your form, then use it to the side. Four. Two more. Straight back. Drop that knee. Curtsy, here we go. To the side, two. Straight back, two. Curtsy, two. To the side, two. Straight back, two. Curtsy, two. One to the side. One straight back. One curtsy. One to the side. One straight back. One curtsy. One to the side. One straight back, one curtsy, one to the side, march it out right here. Whew. So we're gonna break those legs up with some arms. How about we pick up medium weight? Medium weight. That poor elephant. Okay, so medium weight. Anytime we go here, if you don't have that rotation, if you're not ready to be here, you're here. So not here, but here. Okay? Um, before I'm trying to find a good spot where my chair's not in my way. Here we are. Out. Long arms. So you know you can be here. Or you're here. We're going to go straight in front, delt raise, right here. Straight in front. Arms are mostly straight. Back in neutral. Chin lifted, but not up to the ceiling. Four, three, two, to the side, right here. Now you know you can alternate at any time. Keep that chin up, keep watching me. Four more. Four. Three, two, 
straight up in front. Eight. Four more, so don't swing them, so it's controlled. Two more. To the side, four. Two more. Straight up in front, four. Okay, you can alternate. To the side, two times. Out in front, two times. To the side, two times. Out in front, two times. One of each, right here. Now you know you can alternate, so you can be here. One, then the other side. Or stay with the double double. Again, here, give me four more. Four, three, two, last one. Right down. So we did lighter weights, right? Hopefully you did lighter weights. I don't want you hurting yourself. Roll that back. So that was delts. Give me an elbow across the body. Other side. We want to open up the front of those delts. So bring those hands behind your back and pull it straight back. Okay, so we're going to go to the other leg. I'm going to move my chair over here for balance. Paper plate is underneath our foot. Slide it around so we get used to it. We're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to start with that double time. Let's get used to it. So this is just feeling that plate slide across the floor. Ready to go to single time. Out, in. Slide in. So again, this is where we come back to if we need a break. Four, three, two. You ready to take it to that squat? It looks like this. Squat, pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Use those elbows. Let them touch the tops of the legs. They'll force you back. In four. In three. Two, you're going to stand up straight, just press that leg back. So you're here to start. Here to start. So again, neuropathy, keep that foot relatively flat, depending on how big your plate is. But if you have neuropathy, don't put pressure on that foot. Otherwise, drop it down. Drop it down. Four more. Four, three, two, stand straight up. Cross that leg behind, cross it behind. So again, this is where we come back to if we need a break. So we're gonna keep moving or make it a curtsy. Curtsy, curtsy. So the hip staying lined up with the chair or with your wall. Out to the side, right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Straight back, right here. Straight back, drop that knee. Or just slide that foot back. Use that core to pull that leg in. So it's a little bonus. Now curtsy. So I know a lot of us when we're trying to bring it up, we do that leg lift. Trust me, dragging that plate back is more work. Take it to the side four times. Four, three, two, straight back, four. Two more. And curtsy. Two times. Two to the side. Straight back. Curtsy. Straight 
straight to the side. Straight back. Curtsy. One to the side. One straight back. One curtsy. One to the side. One straight back. One curtsy. One to the side. One straight back. One curtsy. One to the side. One straight back. One curtsy. Put off the plate. March it out. Whew, paper plate. Who'd have thunk it? Whew. Let's move this over. Little scorpions, yeah. All right. Light or medium, might not. Light or medium weight. So we're gonna do some rotations. Here's your options. If you don't have that rotation, number one, I don't want you to injure your neck. Number two, you don't have to use any weight at all. You can just do range of motion. And that's fine. Light weights, you can pick those one pounders up. Do not use the 10 pound weights on this. Do not. Okay, jugs. Do oh, jugs. If you have jugs, it's gonna be a little harder to do that. So just work with me best you can. We're just gonna start making a hammer right here, straight up, straight up, straight down. So we're back into the delt. In four, three, two, lighten up that death grip. Now bring it up and give me that rotation. So it's up, rotate, rotate, down. Up, rotate, rotate, down. If you don't have it, go halfway. That's fine, that's great. But if you can, up, turn it, turn it, down. You don't have to come all the way up. You can come up halfway. And down, just straight up, straight down. Right here, loosen up the grip. Put that thumb up. Let it help you release that. Two more. Here's that rotation, here we go. Up, rotate, rotate, down. My golfers, you want this. You want that strength in that rotation. Give me four more, four. Again, you can be halfway up. Right here. One more. All the way up, all the way down. Straight up, straight down. Woo. Four more. Four, three, two. Last set of rotations. Here we go. Ooh, delts are on fire. You feel this in your lats, your rhomboids, and especially your delts. One more. Take those weights, set them down. Whew. If you have a towel and you need to, if you're glistening, I'm glistening, I'm glistening like a pig right now. Okay. Chair out of the way, cardio. Cardio. I know you wanna stretch these delts are killing you, right? How about we bring the arms behind our back and you're gonna give me a chicken wing, one side. Center press straight back. You're gonna feel your delts later. Drop it down, chicken wing, other side. We'll stretch the quads when we're done with our cardio. I know they're on fire, it's okay. You're okay, start to march. Give me a little shoulder roll. Ooh, give me a little elbow roll. Give me a big arm roll. Ooh, a sushi roll. Yeah, right to food. We got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Be ready, cardio set number two. Ready, set, march, jog, or run. Let's go. Ooh. So I'm hoping to get outside and go for a nice walk. I did my workout this morning. I didn't run outside today. I have for the last four days. Give my feet a break.
But you guys probably got stuff to do, I know. Five more seconds. We're gonna take it to cross jacks, level one. Level two. Level three is just faster. You can do one up, one in front. You can do here. You can stay down here the whole time because your delts are on fire. Woo. Or get that little hop. Level three is just faster, you know that. Woo. And the side to side jump ropes. Side to side, the twist, whatever you want to do, get that body moving side to side. Woo! Man, this time's going by fast today. Five more seconds. We're going to go to pogo, so it's knee up, down. Knee up, that's level one. Level two, hop, knee down. Level three, don't let that foot touch the floor. It's up, up, up. So again, level one, just knee up, press back. Level two, needs a little hop, press back. Level three, don't touch the floor. You can go fast too if you want to, just make sure you don't fall over. Couple more, switch sides. Level one. Level two. Level three, don't touch the floor. Balance, it's all about balance, core stability. Whew. Ten more seconds, let's go. Then we're gonna take it to, it's either double knee up, or you're gonna give me a skip. We're gonna go fast. Now make it a skip. We know the deal, ladies. Morning, ladies. You can't be frowning when you're skipping. Whew. So level one, it's a double knee. Double knee. So still balance. Whew. So we're gonna take it to a long leg extension. Level one. Straight legs. Level two is gonna get a little hop. Level three is just faster. Straight legs, straight arms. If you can touch that toe, that's a bonus. If you can touch the toe with a hop, you get the double gold star. And two speed skater. Level one is here. Level two gets a hop. Level three is just faster. Woo! Keep those hips square. Woo! We're gonna go to a step aerobics move. Cause you know that's kind of been my jam the last couple months. If you guys know, that's how I got started. Ellen's, Ellen Coleman's step class. Woo! We're gonna take it out, out, in, in or jog it, or so many of my friends that I still have to this day, I met in that step aerobics class. We cried together, we sweated together, we complained together, Woo! under the laundry line. So level one, Side to side. Level two gets a little hop, little bounce, little knee raise. Dip under that laundry line. Woo! Get the knee up really high. You can go faster if you want to. Little Cinderella. Woo! Everybody's marching or jogging. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay at this pace for a while. So instead of the fast speed, I want you to find a pace you can stay at. So it's, if you're at a march regularly, bring it up to a little bit of a faster march. If you're at a jog, 
bring it up to a little bit of a faster jog. We kind of get it, right? Okay, we're here. You're gonna take it out to a football run. Take it out, football run, get up. Fast feet, go a little faster here. Bring it in, right here. Control that breathing. Football run, take it out. Come on, get low, get low. Block your guys, block them. Bring it in. We're gonna get some basketball games. When we hear that, we got some games coming up. Ready, take it out. I know, most of you don't care. Some of you do though. Bring it in. Even if it's just to keep your sons, husbands, brothers, uncles, friends busy. Ready, last set? Go, down here. I like to watch the game. Come on, come on, come on right now. Fast feet, fast feet, finish this. Eight, seven, six, five, calves on fire. Four, three, two, one, march. Woo! So that's where the difference is. Maybe should have told you before. So when we're out wide in that football run, we take it into the quads and the calves, step touch. So we want to pull down the calves, make it a heel dig, heel dig. So bringing the heart rate down, if you have your chair close by, you're going to do that heel toe, we did it the other night, heel toe, heel toe, or here. Now bring it center, give me a scissor jump. You don't have to, you can keep tapping the toes. Otherwise, we'll scissor jump. Other foot, heel toe, heel toe. Pulling off that calf, that anterior tibia. We're gonna go to that scissor jump. Right here. So it's right here. Woo, some lover boy. Oh yeah. Four, three, two, heel toe. Heel toe. Switch sides. Come center, scissors. So anybody out there, remember carousel skating rink. If you do, we probably knew each other in a different life. Heel toe right here. Same life, same life, just different points in it. Other side. Pretty close to my alma mater. Hutch Tech. Any tech reds? Last time, right here. Four, three, two, march it out. Woo Feels good, right? Yeah. Deep breath, down, deep breath. Okay, you're going to use that chair, top of the leg, knees together, or top of the shoe, knees together. Press that pelvis forward. Time just flew by. Take it to the other side. Okay, so we're gonna do those push-ups that we've been doing off the chair. I'm going to put the mat down. I'm gonna move the carnage. Oh my goodness, that's everywhere. Tell you what, we'll just cover it up with a blanket a little bit. We'll worry about it later. Oh. So, we're going to be doing some push ups off the chair. If you're not ready for push ups yet, and just know that I'm going to give you modifications. We're not talking about full out push ups, we're talking about modified beginner push ups. However, if you can't put the pressure in your wrist, in your elbows, in your shoulders like that, you can lie flat on the floor and you're going to give me the bench presses. We've done these a few times.
So if you've been working out with me recently, you kind of know where I'm going here. So you know you can be flat doing bench presses. And again, the bench presses are here. They're not up here, they're not down here. Okay. So otherwise, come down, hands and knees. Whew. So level one, your knees are gonna be a little closer to the chair and you're gonna be here, I'm trying to stay in the picture. Level two, you're back a little farther. I want you to keep your back straight and you're here. Level three, if your chair is secure, you can come up on your feet to there. I'm gonna stay here. Otherwise, you can do plain push-ups or you can do bench presses. You ready, set? Down and up right here. Down, up. Make sure your chair is secure. I don't want anyone to tell me they had the chair in the middle of the floor and it slid out and they face planted. I told you several times. Give me four more. In four, three, two, one. Come on back. Hands behind your back. Oh yeah, your shoulders and your delts are gonna, you're gonna be feeling it later. Okay, well, we're, well, we're here. If you're here. If you're on your back doing bench presses, you're gonna take a break and do bridges. Otherwise, if you're here, tap your fanny down and come up. Tap your fanny down, come up. Down, up, down, up. So we're gonna make it a little more challenging. I want you to keep your shoulders over your hips. Come down for two. So it's one, two, one. You feel the difference? Shoulders over the hips. So we're not pushing the fanny back. The whole body's coming back. If that's too much on your knees, don't do it. Stay here. You can stay here. Otherwise, you're here. Give me two more. I know I'm off the beat. You stay where you're at. Don't worry about me. One more. Mine up. Move those knees around a little bit. Hands on the chair. So you're going to take some of the pressure off your knees. Put those feet flat. Second set of push-ups. Back is flat. Here we go. Down and up. So somebody was telling me a couple weeks ago, Van Halen fans, that it's mostly men that like David Lee Roth Van Halen, and mostly women that like Sammy Hagar Van Halen. Well, I beg to differ. Give me four more in four, three, two, one. Come on up. Hands behind your back. Ready? We're going to tap our fanny to our feet. Here we go. Down and up. I've also been told that girls don't like rush. I'd also like to put my hat in the ring for that debate. Shoulders over the hips come down for two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One more. Come on up, hands on the chair. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Fanny to the heels. Four, three, two. Shoulders over the hips. It's one, two, one, two. Give me four more. You're almost there. If you look at the clock, you know we have to finish. I somehow lost count. How about you give me one more? Down. Come on up. You're going to sit down. Sit down. Come down onto the hip. I want you to put one leg out in front of you, one leg behind you. Bring the shoulder straight up. Bring one hand 
So the opposite hand to the front of this quad, this hand behind you, and twist the body. Come center, you're going to switch legs. Other leg crosses in front of the body. So this foot is right on top of this quad. Try and get this leg flat, hips are square. Opposite hand outside the leg, other arm behind you, just twist that body. Ooh, my professional spritzers again. Four, three, two, one. You gotta come center. I'm gonna move my chair out of the way and I'm gonna change the music. I left it all the way over here. If you need water now, get water. Don't crawl around on your knees. I know we just kind of worked them with that last couple moves. You're on my way. So if you have your towel, why don't you get it close by and we'll use this for our stretch today. Okay. So we're going to rock back, knee to chest. Could you have your towel? So let's just take it bring it around the knees. Bring one leg down, take this towel, put it over the shoe, straighten that leg, and you're going to pull that back. So hopefully you can get the leg a little bit longer than you usually do. Now get the towel in one hand. This hand's going to come out and support yourself. Let the arm or the leg drop out to the side. Arm is supporting that leg. Don't let the hips rock. Come back to center. You're going to hold it with the other hand. Let it drop the other way. Keep those. Keep the fanny planted on the floor. The back is on the floor. Your shoulders stay on the floor the whole time. Don't let them roll. Come center. Bring the knee to the chest. Hold it nice and tight. Now the knee drops out, ankle crosses over, pull it in. Okay, other side, you're gonna bring that leg up. Towel up. We got the ends, legs nice and straight. Try and pull that towel back. So you might be here, that's fine. Towel makes it easier. Straighten that leg a little more. Because if you're trying to get the toes and you can't reach, you're going to bend the knee. Let's try and get the leg a little straighter today. Now, both hands, let it drop to one side. I know I went out the first time. We're going in this time. Keep the shoulders on the floor. Come center. Take it the other way. Again, keep the shoulders on the floor. If you want to put this elbow on the floor, you can. You can be here to get that back stretch. Come center. Knee drops out, ankle crosses over, lose the towel. Knees to chest, just the gentle rock side to side. I want you to give me little circles with the feet. Take them the other way. Now bring the feet down and walk them out. Let the arms drop down by the side. Relax the tension in the shoulders and the neck. Release the tension in the jaw. Close the eyes. Every time you breathe in, it's through the nose. It's a long, deep breath. You fill the lungs completely. Every time you exhale, it's through the mouth. It's slowly, it's fully. Blow all the air out. This time, inhale. Hold it. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Hold it. 
exhale. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Last time through, inhale, hold it, exhale, returning to your normal breathing pattern in through the nose, out through the nose. Next deep breath, I want you to give the fingers a little wiggle on the exhale. Next deep breath in, open the eyes, give the toes a little wiggle on the exhale. Inhale, right knee comes up to the chest, hold it there, exhale. Inhale, left knee comes up to meet it, exhale. Great big deep breath in, on the exhale, rock the body up, come to straddle stretch. Okay, so paper plates, something new. Fun, yeah, ish. Hands on the floor. Whew. Relax that tension in the neck and the shoulders. We're going to stretch that neck too. A lot, of, a lot of stress, a lot of tension this week. Both hands to one side. And walk it over to the other side. If you're feel, feeling anxiety, you're feeling depressed, you're not alone. But that's perfect reason to get outside in the sun today. One hand on each foot. Bring the chest down. And come center. One leg out, one foot to your inner thigh. Without hyperextending that knee, reach for the toe. We've got to take control and be in charge of our own happiness. Make the decision. Day, I'm going to have a good day. And when things get thrown at you, you superpower and knock it down. Foot up and over. Elbow, look over the back shoulder. And then go to that breathing exercise we just did. Elbow down. Knees together. Press the pelvis forward. Center, other side, foot to the inner thigh, reach for the toes. Put up and over, elbow. Stack the hips. And release it. Come center. You're going to bring that ear to one side, or ear to shoulder. A little pressure on the top of the head. Chin to chest. Other side, ear to shoulder. A little pressure. If you want to push away with the arm, you can. Chin to chest, 
Bring that head up. Find your pulse in your wrist or your neck. Hold on. Start counting now. And stop. So how's that for your number compared to your number earlier? Hopefully it's the same, maybe a beat slower. We're gonna slowly come up from the floor. The head's the last thing to come up, so your feet are out. Weight forward, roll it up. Shoulders back, elbows back, arms back. Great big deep breath, reach, pull to one side. And the other side. If you're thinking, well, we didn't really do any core today. Trust me, great big deep breath. All those things we did with the paper plates, all that pulling in with the plate, you worked your core. You'll feel it later. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday night. I'm thinking maybe a 10 by 10 Monday night. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Have a great day. Get outside.